Hi everybody, uh, we're here to present our yard sale finds for today. Uh, we have some really good, cool stuff that we picked up today. Everything from video games to tools, so stick around. Um, over here we're going to start with some of the craft pickups today. Uh, so as you all know, I love my crafting. Um, organization is always a problem, so we got this little container for organization for five bucks. Uh, kind of nice, it has wheels, so uh, seems like it's in good shape. This is also one of those um, turning organizational trays uh, from Michaels, so we got that for three dollars. So again, good pickup for if you're gonna be working on a lot of crafts. It's really cute, has little hooks and things, so definitely will make lots of really good use out of this um, and those two items together. Uh, we picked this up at a yard sale today. Uh, they were asking for five bucks. We gave them three. Just two cute, really cute mugs. I mean, the tea was not even opened. Uh, everything is still good. The dates are still good. Um, normally I wouldn't buy things that are like a food product from a yard sale, but considering the tea was, this box wasn't even opened, I literally opened this at home. So, um, and the tea tin wasn't open. So everything's good in there. Uh, so we got that for three bucks really cute mugs so excited for that for our tea room nom, nom. Uh, we also got these beautiful men's uh, donut socks brand new going on these feet yep uh, so we got that for two dollars uh, so yeah good pickup just just because we liked it so might as well uh, this is a knife set so it has everything from kind of different exacto blades to um, carving kit um, accessories it's brand new. They wanted five dollars. Um, I didn't really haggle them on this one because uh, it's it's brand new sealed, and I felt like five dollars was a really good deal, anyways. So, really excited to use this. I'm always looking for Exacto blades. So uh, now that I have my organizational area, I will make sure to put it in a good spot. Uh, Michael was actually the one that found this book today, so he got this for a dollar, I believe. Um, it's a really cool illustrative book. For the Hobbit, uh, literally went to a page with no illustrations. Here we go. So uh, some really cool ones in here. Um, Should have. Yeah. So really cool illustrations throughout the book. We were looking at the comps on it, and I was going for about twenty dollars online. So taking a chance. If it ends up staying in our library, that's fine. It's really cute. So. Uh, if we have to hang on to it, we will. Moving over here, uh, we'll start with this guy. So went to a yard sale today. This one was a bit of a disappointment because uh, we got there. It was a community yard sale on the street and we had just scoped out everybody else. And we finally went to this last house and they had a ton of video games there. And they had a Wii and a ton of like really good games like Zelda and uh, things like that. Things that we would have actually played and kept probably. Uh, but there was definitely somebody right behind us who was also on the hunt for video games. So I was only able to pick up the Game Boy Advance. I got it for five bucks because I said it didn't have a case or charger, but um, it does work. It's in rough shape. Like this thing is kind of used, but I don't have one and this will be handy for me to test Game Boy Advance games whenever I pick them up. So. At least now I have something to use for that. Uh, this is uh, basically a brand new Kobo. Uh, the, <laughs> it was kind of a funny story because the, the woman that we bought it from, uh, she was like, my husband reads the newspaper religiously, but he has tons of paper all over the place and I bought it for him and he doesn't use it. So I just want to get rid of it. So it hasn't been opened, it's not used. Um, it's an older model, but uh, we picked it up for $10. So I'm hoping that Michael will use it to download a few books and have those digital copies available to um, read on the go. So yeah, 10 bucks, not, not a bad pickup. Okay, this is, this is the best find of the day and the first thing that I actually found today. Uh, so this is a new inbox uh, unopened Wii. We picked this up for 20 bucks. Yes, $20 for a brand new Wii. Um, literally everything in the box uh, has never been even removed. So it still has like all of the foam wrapping around it. 
um, uh, the games are sealed, the CD is sealed, everything that you see that um, would be available in this package is still in there unused. So we're really excited uh, because I feel like this is gonna be a really great option to flip. Um, it's obviously gonna work because it's brand new. And uh, yeah, it was just a really cool pickup. It, it was uh, a little bit funny too, because when we approached that particular yard sale, it was the first one of the day, and we were just kind of like, oh, that just looks like junk on a table. And then I literally saw this black box and was like, if there's a Wii in there, that's, that's gonna be pretty great. And then there was, so I was extremely happy. Uh, and then over here, I uh, guess I'll pick them up. Uh, we have a few different transformers. Um, so these these three here I got at uh, Value Village uh, this week for two bucks, and this guy I just picked up today. So uh, Grimlock, that's his name. I kept forgetting today, but his name is Grimlock, and uh, yeah, so he was a buck, uh, and he looks pretty much complete. I built him a, a few times and then took him apart. And then we have Optimus and another little Dinobot guy. Um, the car is missing a lot of pieces, so I don't know if I'll hang on to him. I'm not really sure who he is anyway, so. Um, but these three I'll probably keep and put in my collection. Okay, moving on to tools. So today, uh, Michael actually found quite a lot of tools. Uh, some things that he felt like were a really good deal that we absolutely needed for the house. So um, yeah, we'll just show you what they are. So uh, we got a DeWalt um, drill, it works. Uh, it has two batteries and um, yeah, the, the, it was actually kind of funny because there was somebody there who was literally standing behind us wanting to buy it just as we scooped it up. So we got that for, uh, I think $30, $30 yeah. right? Uh, next we have the air compressor. Uh, the guy did test it for us. It is missing one piece uh, on this side in order to hook it up to this. So we'll have to buy one little piece for it. We got that for $30. He said, works great. I just, he just didn't have the little dongle on him. Um, and then we got the circular saw. The circular saw and uh, Michael was just like, I'm just gonna offer him 10 bucks, he wants 10 bucks for it. And I'm like, okay, would you do uh, 15 and you throw in the WD-40? Because uh, uh, we needed it for a few things. So it's like, yep, 15 bucks. So got that for $15 and uh, everything works. So we're really excited about our pickup today. Uh, we were out with our friend, Laura. So shout out to Laura. Uh, we did really great and Unfortunately, no Lego today, but we have one more place that we're gonna stop on our way to grandma's, so we'll see if we can find some Lego there. So anyways, have a good day. Thanks.